uh, year nine. And um, this week we're going to learn a new term, which is called preterite term. And this preterite term, um, in Spanish, we've got um, two different past tenses. And one of them, the one that we learn this week, is the preterite term. So let's start and see um, both the equivalent in uh, or the equivalent in English. So I've got a few examples in here for you to have a look at. So preterite tense is the past tense in English. I went to the park yesterday. So as you can see, I've highlighted the verb in the sentence and the verb is in the past tense. Okay, so straight away I can see that that was in the past. But also, I've got yesterday, which is also telling me that that is a past tense um, um, time frame. The second sentence, I've got I ate pizza last night. Ate is telling me, again, that is the verb in the past tense. And last Monday, again, the same as yesterday, is another word that is telling me um, when it happened. And um, we visited Spain last year, so the visited is again the past Okay, so as you can see, I've highlighted went and visited. All of them are in the past tense. Now, can you think for a second, where are those words coming from? What is the infinity of these words in English? Can you think about it? Went, let's take, went comes from go, to go. Eight would come from eat to eat and visited to visit or to visit. So very similarly, this is what's going to happen in Spanish. We've got the verb, the infinitive, and from the infinitive we are going to learn how to conjugate in order to put those verbs into the past tense. Okay? So let's have a look at this Set of so we have hablar to talk, cantar to sing, comer to eat, beber to drink, vivir. Have you noticed vivir with the B? And to live, escribir to. And um, already you can see that these are doing words. They are verbs and what do they all have in common? They're all infinitive. And what is an infinitive? The infinitive is the verb before has been changed or conjugated. And that's the form you're going to find in the dictionary. So when you go to the dictionary and you look for talk to talk, you're going to find that in Spanish is hablar. Okay, and so on. And let's have a look and see what do they all have in common? Can you see? So there you go. What they have in common is that they have these endings. Three different endings. We've got AR, we've got ER, and we have IR. So in Spanish, we can put three groups, or we have three groups of verbs in Spanish. The A are verbs, E are verbs, and I are verbs. Okay? And that is very important when we learn to conjugate any tense. Okay, so remember A are verbs, E are verbs, and I are verbs. We, we saw it before with the present, and we're going to see it again with the present. Okay? So let's start and see how do we conjugate. Let's start with the first group of verbs, which is the A of verbs. And I've chosen first as the verb to talk. Now, you are, and I'm sure that you're confident and you have seen this before, but I've put this word in here. And you can see person. And you've got I, you, he, she, you for like. We have we, you plural. And they, or you plural her. These are the different people that we're going to conjugate our verbs. Okay, and in Spanish, 
let's go through them. So we'll, we have yo, tu, el, ella, usted, nosotros, vosotros, ellos, y ustedes. Now, you have seen the usted before, which is the you for lunch. And we have spoken about it before. But just as a little reminder, in Spanish, oops, go, there you go. In Spanish, what we do when we want to show respect to someone that we have just met, someone who is older than us, and um, we use the polite um, to refer to them, to talk to them. So if I go to the doctors, I would go and I would speak to, to them with the polite version, rather than the good version, okay? So um, that's what we use. And the you plural polite, you might be like, when do I use that one? So imagine that you get to meet a bunch of people who are, imagine the prime minister and um, a bunch of um, ministers, so you could refer to them as you plural polite. Okay, so remember that one. Let's have a look and see how we're going to conjugate the quadruple. And I've put here two, the two that you need to remember and actually you will remember from the present tense that these are very similar so let's have a look at that the first step we're going to remove the ending the a r ending so if i have a verb here to prove what i will do i will remove the a r ending and the second step add the right ending depending on the first so let's have a look if I have to conjugate it, if I have to say I sung, I'm going to add an E. If it's you, I'm going to add aste. If it's he, she, or you polite, I'm going to add an O with the accent. If it's the we form, I'm going to add an amos. If it's the you plural, I'm going to add aste. And for they, I'm going to add ado. Okay, so it's quite a few of them. So repeat after me. E, aste, o, amos, asteis, aro. Alright? So, the most important thing. Remove the ending, the area ending, and add the right ending depending on the person. So, let's do a little bit of practice. Get your red book. And please um, pause this video because I'm going to go through all the conjugation and you're going to be practicing. But don't worry because I'm going to have this in front of you. My face, so you can see this grid. This grid is the, the bit that you need to have in front of you, plus the steps, okay? So, let's start with the first one. I sang cantar. Pause it and give it a go. Remember, remove the ending and add the right ending depending on the person. Okay, so can this, so what I've done, I remove the AR, okay, from cantar, and I added the E with the accent because that's the one for the I form. Can you see? Let's try the next one. You worked Pose. Trabajaste. So again, we use the AR ending. Okay, and that's what I did. Trabaj. And then I added the aste because it's the ending for the U form. Let's move on to the third one. He listened. And the verb is escuchar. Pose. Escucho. Again, the same, remove the, the ending, AR, okay, so it's kuch. Now I added the O with the accent because that's the ending for E. Okay, let's move on to the fourth one. We played, jugar, jose. Jugamos. Again, I removed the AR ending and then I added the AMS. Let's move on to the fifth one. You plural, bought, comparar, 
to capture because I'm saying new project. We'll say contrastase. I removed the air and this and I added the aspate because we're talking about the new fluid. Okay. Now let's move on to the next one. Number six, safe. The vestige descansar. Puse. Descansaron. Remove the air ending and I added aron because the aron is the ending for they. ¿Vale? Número 7. She asked. Preguntar. Puse. Preguntó. I removed the air ending and I added the O with the accent because of the ending for she. ¿Vale? Número 8. I bought. Comprar. Puse. Compré. Remove the air ending and I added the E with the accent because that is the ending for I. Número 9. We worked. Puse. Trabajamos. We moved A, R, after Amos. Do I have another one? No. So now, one thing that I want you to have a look at, and one thing that you have noticed, you might be like, this. you have conjugated, but you haven't put in any of them, you haven't put the person in front of them, like you would do in English. I listen, she or we. And that is correct. Why? Because in Spanish, I don't have to write the person in front of the verb. If you notice, if you have a look at the endings, each one of them is different from each other, which means that I don't need to put the person in front of them because already they're different. But people know, and you can see that it's who you are talking about. Okay, so don't worry. You don't need to put the person in front of them, all right? Unless you want to really highlight who did the action. Is that clear? Right, let's move on to the next group. So we've done the air verbs, we've done a little bit of practice. Let's move on to the next one. E, R, and I are verbs. Now, you might be thinking, why do I have these two group of verbs together? Let's have a look at we can comer and we did can you remember? To eat and to eat. So let's have a look. The steps are exactly the same. We remove the ending. We have the right ending depending on the person. Now let's have a look for a second at the ending. So why do you think that I've put these two groups together? Have a look at the ending. Yes. Both share the same ending. So let's go through them. I have E. Iste, yo. Imos, iste, yeron. And exactly the same for the I verbs. So that makes it easier for us because that means that we have to learn two sets of endings instead of three. Okay? So, and let's read the afternoon. I, iste, yo. Imos, iste, yeron. It's very important that you pronounce these endings properly. Okay? But right. we know how it works. Again, the same as before, it's the same drill. We move the ending and up the right ending depends on the person. So have your red book ready. We're going to do a little bit of practice again. Let's start with the first one. Well, you can see I've got there your grid with the ending. So you don't need to use it just to check that you've got them in front of you and you've got steps how we know them let's start with the first one i drank beber pose baby i removed the engine which is in um er and i added the e because of the engine for i dos you slept dormir pose Dormiste, I removed the I, R, and I added Iste, because that's the ending for you. Número tres. He interrupted. Interrumpir. Jose. Interrumpió. So I removed the I, R, ending, and I added 
io si possassi and so he ok numero 4 we read leer posse leimos so I've add remove the ending which is er and I'll add it imos because that's the ending for we numero 5 you proven decided decidir posse Decidiste, I removed the I R and it, and then I added E space at the end of this record. Number six, they sold, then there, was it? Removed again, I removed the E R and it, and I added Yero because Yero is the is the word ending for say. Yete, she opened, abril, was it? Abrio. So I removed the I R, I removed the ending, and I added yo because that's the ending for, for she. Ocho, I shares, compartir, pose, comparti. Remove the I R ending and added I because it's the right ending for, for us. Um, nueve, she described. Describir pose. Describi. Oh, I've made a little mistake in here. So you should have. Oh, yeah. Describimos. Describimos. I put the, an extra MI. Okay. So describimos. Muy bien. Y diez, he learned aprender pose. Aprendió, so I removed the ending, the ending, and I added yo because that's the ending for he. Okay, so we've done a little bit of practice, and hopefully you now get the idea, because the most important thing is remembering these steps: remove the ending and add the right ending depending on the time. So let's have a look at the whole grid. Now we've got all our verbs in a grid. Okay. You've got the different people that we conjugate against. And then we have the three verbs hablar, to talk, and a verb, comer, and a verb, vivir, and a verb. Okay. And you've got all the engines in different colors. And the steps that we're going to follow are the two that we have mentioned before. But before that, and I'm going to add these new steps because now we've got all the three endings, all the verbs together. So please, 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 the first thing that we need to check is we need to check the verb ending. So, so look at it. Is it an A or verb? Is it an I or verb? Because that way you know exactly what column you need to look at. Okay? Let's do a little bit of practice. So check the verb ending. Remove then the ending A R E R and I R or I R sorry, and then we're going to have the right ending depending on the verse. Get your right book ready, and again we're going to do the same. We're going to be doing a little bit of practice. You've got the grid here at the top, so you can check the ending. You've got the steps to conjugate. Check the verb ending, remove ending, and add the right ending depending on the verse. Not a lot of endings. And let's start with the first one. We ate. Comer. Let's do it. Pose. Hopefully we check that it was an I verb, and that's why we remove the ending. And because it's an R, so it's an E R verb, we're going to add emos because it's we. Okay, so comemos. Dos. She sang cantar. Pose. Canto is an A or verb, so I go to my A or verb. Yeah, I remove the ending. I go to my um, column of the A R, and I need to add the O because actually it's a she. Numero tres. I worked. Trabajar. Pose. Trabajé. So again, A or verb. I go to my A or verb column. I remove the ending. Okay, and then I add the E, because it's an I. 
Numero 4. He drank. Pose. Bebio. So in here, e or verb. Okay, so I go to my e or verb, I remove the ending, and I have to add yo. This is this e. Vale? Let's go see. So, cinco. They shared. Compartir. Pose. Compartieron. On a verb, I remove the ending, and then I go to the IR column, I go to the they, so yedon. Okay? Muy bien. Seis. I read. Puse. Leer. E of verb. I remove my ending, and I have to add the I with the accent. Do not forget your accent, please, because um, it, it will make a big difference if you don't have the accent. It, it, especially there are some words that could mean something completely different if you forget the accent. Okay? Siete. You slept. Dormir. Pose. Dormiste. I remove the ending. It's an oil verb. I remove the ending. And because it's for you, I need to add iste. Okay? Ocho. We listen. Pose. Escuchamos is an air verb, so I remove the ending and then I add amos because that is the one for me. Okay. Nueve. I run. Correr. Pose. Corre. Again, air verb. So what I do, I remove my ending and I add the e. This is for us. Y diez. She bought. Pose. Compro. Remove my uh, ending and add the O with the accent because that is the one for um, she. Okay? Hopefully, you are getting a good understanding of how it works and you get in a little bit of practice and, and you uh, might be feeling that you understand how it works now. But it's a bit tricky, isn't it? Because you have to learn all these different endings that you have in here. By the way, please make sure that you print this in your yellow book with the steps to find it there. I have a slide later on for you to print and, and stick in, in your book. It's very important that you have it as a reference. Now, you, um, some of you know me and you know that I love, or I try to sing a little bit in the lesson. So, uh, it's very hard to learn all these sentences, and I understand that it's very hard. So, a few years ago, I came up with a little song to help you learning these sentences. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that song because I really expect everybody to learn the sentence. And the best way to do it is with the help of a little song. I'm going to show you the song. This is the Preterick Turn song and is to Barbie Girl. Uh, I think that you're quite young to know the Barbie Girl song, but maybe you 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 might have heard of it. Um so the most important thing about this song, and you will be able to listen to it, okay, and um, because I've got here the recording, I'm not going to sing right now. Um but the most important thing is to pronounce this sentence properly. So let's have a look. We've got the A of verbs. Remember, guys, A of verbs, which is the first word. Let's go through the endings. We've got E, Aste, O, Amos, Aste, Adam. I've put this in order. So E would be for I, Aste would be for you, O, he or she, or the utilize, Amos would be for we, Aste would be for the utilize. And Aro, Aron, would be for them. Okay, and then the second group, we said that E R and I are verbs go together. So we're going to make it here. So, again, we've got I is E, you is E, he, she, yo. And we is Imos, you is Ispes, they is Yeron. 
Okay, this U is the U plural. But you will be able to listen to this. One thing that I would like to mention, so let's have a look at this. I'm a Spanish girl and he's got a repent. Get steady and be aware of the need. Same as present tense, you need to keep the stem. If you don't know what the stem is, I'll put it in here. So I'm going to give you the example with the verb our blood, which means to cook. So the ending we know is a verb. So if I remove that ending, the stem is the bit that says, okay, that bit that I have in So that is what stem means, okay? So please print and stick the endings, the same with the song, and practice and learn it. On Thursday, we're going to have a session up to on the endings. So it's going to be, to be a fun lesson, but you need to learn, you need to be um, to have some practice with them. If you have any questions, Thursday at 1.30, I'm going to be available for you to ask me anything related to what I've said. This is what you will be able to right. Right. you will be able to listen to me later. Okay? Now um what I've done, I've put um a few links in here for you to practice. Practice as much as you can. So I've got conjugamos, always with regular verbs, please, regular verbs. Um predatory tense and regular verbs, okay? So we've got conjugamos, I've got languages online, and I will also added Spanish dict. Um, so go through them and and do as much practice as possible. And hopefully, um, we're going to carry on doing it next week as well, but hopefully um, you get a good understanding. So this is the work of this week. Learn the song, practice as much as you can with the pressure tense. Um, and just do follow these links and practice, practice, practice and learn your endings, please. Okay? Muchas gracias, chicos. Adios.